Hey folks, thanks for joining me. A beautiful spring day here in North Carolina. You're looking at uh, my prototype build of the capacitor outside foil sniffer version uh, 1.0. Again, I got some great uh, feedback on the unit itself. And there's definitely some design flaws. Again, this was more of a proof of concept. And uh, here you're looking at uh, Big Brother or Little Brother. It's a uh, better design. It does things a little bit different than the original design. And you can see I've eliminated the uh, OLED in addition to the external SI5351 um, signal generator as well. Also a different relay. I'm not needing to use the uh, double pole double throw. In this design, a single pole double throw by using a uh, voltage divider circuit here. LEDs by the post to indicate the outside foil position. So that simplifies the design. I'm still powering this off of a standalone 5 volt regulated supply. And to test a capacitor, you just hit this one time or as many times as you need to and the relay will go high just for one cycle so we're not stressing the uh, relay like we were in this design so let's take a look at this in action here's an old capacitor clipped out that I uh, saved out of an old receiver and you can see the uh, foil side identified so we use this just to make certain that uh, I've got the sketch configured correctly based on the wiring of the relay itself. So let me get this uh, placed in here. We'll run a test. We'll start out here with the uh, outside foil on the left side. So this LED should uh, light up to the left. So you can see I put the button switch at the rear of the circuit board and that's done by design. So I'm not up here close to the uh, terminals where the signal is being received and generated not to impair the uh, results. So we'll just hit the uh, test switch one time and that's how quick the uh, test occurs and you can hear the relay just go from low to high and you can see we have the indicator here for the uh, outside foil which uh, matches. Now, again, there's no need to uh, reverse the capacitor once you run the test. You could run this multiple times by holding this down. And you can see it toggle back and forth. And you can see the home location here identified. It holds the LED on until you run the next test and or reset the sketch, which is really cool. Let's reverse the uh, capacitor now and just make sure that uh, the LED lights here to the right. Okay, hit the test button. And there we have it. We'll hit it one more time. And you can see the outside foil now is identified here to the right, which is uh, correct. Let's check a uh, modern day capacitor real fast and then we'll review the schematic in BOE. Here's a capacitor I've already tested on the other capacitor tester. I went through about 50 capacitors just to make certain that my results using the oscilloscope and my other testers that I've built in the past were a match. Outside foil is on this side as marked on the capacitor so when we hit the test switch you can hear the relay engage and quickly the relay is uh, back low and the outside foil again to the uh, left side. Let's reverse this capacitor as well and just ensure that our results uh, follow. And you can see it quickly identified the outside foil now to the right. So a quick look at the modified uh, design here. You can see a few slight differences. If you look down at the base of Q1, you can see the uh, capacitor C5. That signal coming into the base now. 
is coming from the uh, binder clip that uh, attaches to the uh, capacitor under test. You guys recall in the previous design, I was actually sending a high amplitude signal to the binder clip at 200 kilohertz and measuring the uh, signal on each leg of the uh, capacitor as it uh, went through its rotation through the uh, double pole, double throw relay. In this case, you'll see R6 and R7, the uh, voltage divider using 470 ohm 1% resistors. Uh, that's important just to make sure that they're a close match. And I can leverage the uh, single pole double throw relay. And you can see the uh, common side of the uh, relay itself is attached to ground, so it's very stable. The uh, relay driver is the same, and you can see the uh, digital ports uh, that I used to drive the LEDs. D6 and uh, D5 accordingly. My default test frequency for D2 is set for 15 kilohertz, which can be changed in the sketch. That will be the first line of code. You'll notice I'm receiving the signal on uh, A0 and A1, combining those together. Again, Arduino cannot read both ports at the same time, thus the uh, delay allows me to capture the uh, voltage as the uh, relay is changing state. When A2 is called, it resets the ADC. As you can see, it's attached to ground. Again, it's a simpler build than the uh, previous version, eliminating the uh, OLED, the step-up transformer, and the SI5351. In addition, we're not stressing the uh, relay just making that one test over to high or repeating as needed and holding the LED high for reference. I appreciate everyone watching and subscribing to my channel. Everyone out there, uh, take care and all the best to you and your family.